Yo, what's up? This is Sugar from Sound Candy Studio, and today I want to talk about the Waves plugin. It's called Talk. It's a really good plugin. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we have got our track that we're building. So we've got kick, hi hat, snare, clap, crash, and this sort of organy bass thing. Uh, so what I want to do is quickly just talk about this talk plugin. So what I'm going to do is I quickly play the track. Sorry, let's do that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this experiment is I'm going to simply uh, solo the uh, kick track and let's just play that. Okay, so. I've got this kick track and I want to make some changes to the drum. So this is pre anything. So EQ, compression, side chaining, anything. It's just, I want to have a look at this kick track just to see what I can do with it whilst I'm playing around with this particular uh, session here. So what I'm going to do is bring up uh, our talk. And what I'm going to do is just, just switch it off. Uh, so this is what it sounds like on its own. Okay, so it's not bad. Uh, we haven't ha added any uh, EQ, any side chain or compression. We haven't added anything. But what I wanted to do, just to sort of test out this um, this plugin, just to see what it sounds like and what it's going to be doing for this particular track. So if we play the track, I'm going to, uh, well, I guess I should explain. So this um, focus uh, adjuster here, this will allow you to adjust, as you can see at the top here, as you can see here, we're going to run across all the way to B5 and you can see the Hertz changing so you can see roughly what you're doing it's very intuitive in terms of the, the plugin it's very basic and it's very intuitive but it works quite well uh, so let's have a look so let's we're going to play the track and I'm going to demonstrate a few things so this is the track and bypass so this is how it is so let's turn this on and what we're going to be able to do here is we can see the waveforms building so we can see what we're doing here so if we hold and uh, click and hold this icon here you, it will mute and solo all the other three all the other frequencies that we're not using so if we sort of do a bypass um, a band sweep on this we can hear it's making some changes so what we're going to do we're going to isolate the frequency or the band that we want to use on this kick drum and then we'll start working from there so i'm guessing it's somewhere down here about 128 so we'll let go so this is what it is straight out the box this is what it sounds like and this is it bypassed so we can see already that there is a difference so let's do that again let's hit the peaks let's go for a peak let's go for that one okay so there we go so what we want to do, let's just stop this for a second. What we want to do is we want to try and find the sweet the sweet spot for this particular band and this particular kick on the drum. So this icon here, this threshold, this allows us to select the bandwidth that we want to use and without peaking or without pushing it too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the track and we're going to simply scale this up and down so we find exactly the right sweet spot for this particular kick. So as you can see, we're going from zero to minus 70. So what we're going to do, this uh, peak indicator here will light up. It will go from green all the way through to red. When we hit red, we, we know what we're overdoing it. So we're going to have to sort of back it off a bit. So if we play it, so we're on the green and I'm, I quite like to use it between anywhere between the green and the red, which is pretty much where it is, but we'll demonstrate and we'll go through it. So there, okay, so hardly anything, zero. And we're going to sweep through until we see the green light come on. So we just keep going through. So we've got a yellow light. We're not peaking yet. Okay, we can start to see some semblance of the green. Okay, let's push it a little bit further. And I reckon anywhere around here would be just ideal between the green and the yellow. Okay, so now we can dial in the tones that we want to hear. So we're just going to use the sweep key. So we can hear. Okay, it's a bit too far, but we can hear the drum almost being tightened and loosened. OK, 
Okay, so let's just find a spot that may sound good. So I'm thinking somewhere about here. So let's just get rid of the solo. Now here, uh, for me, because I haven't even thought about doing any EQing, um, what I don't want to do, I don't want to push it to the sort of uh, minus 415 uh, because I still want to add some compression. I still want to add some EQ. So I don't, I'm not using this plugin to add EQ. That's not why I'm using it. I'm simply using it to tune this particular kick drum. So uh, if we if we sweep through again, we can hear what it sounds like. And um, I mean, you can use it if you don't want to use an EQ and if you don't want to use a compression, you can use it if you if you feel that's, what, that's what's best for your track. But in my particular instance, I don't want to use this as an EQ or a compression tool. I'm simply allowing, allowing the plugin to tune my drum for me. Uh, also, while we're here, let's just talk about the tr the torque trim. The torque trim just allows you to go from sort of your minus uh, uh, minus six to plus six dB. So obviously, as you get louder, it's going to get louder. So we put it on uh, zero dB or thereabouts. This is the sound that we're going to get. And let's just sorry, bear with me. Let's just solo the solo just the kick drum. So as we pull the trim knob down we can hear we're getting more punch and as we go further away you can hear the differences there so I quite like it somewhere around the middle for this particular uh, drum and obviously the output key the output slider gives you the output so we don't want to peak so if we go somewhere here uh, so what we're going to do is we are just let's just push this up a little bit more and that should be roughly about it uh, so this um, plugin, um, it's great because we can use it on multiple tracks uh, in terms of we can use it on your kicks, your hi-hat, your snares. Uh, there is also another plugin that accompanies this. Uh, I'm not using it on this particular kick drum, but that other, uh, the other Waves plugin that I like to use is, let's try and find it. It's this one here. This is the plugin that's commonly used with the um, with your snare drums because it gives you allows you to give you some more crackle and snap to your snare. Uh, let me just bypass that because I don't want to use that on this kick drum, but I do want to use the talk on here. So that's basically a quick overview of um, talk and how I use it. Uh, I think it's a very good plugin. It's on the Waves website. It's about 35 US dollars, which is not bad for what it is. It will definitely allow you to make huge amounts of changes to um, your kick and your snares and your highs. It will definitely allow you to do that. And it's it allows you to make those fine tuning and adjustments that you probably ordinarily wouldn't make. Uh, yes, of course, you can do that in, um, in any sampler. You can sample in a, a set of drums and detune and tune it there but i think this plugin for what it does i think it's a really really good plugin and i think it's well worth the purchase okay if you like the the video um hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up and like um i will be doing lots more videos on ways plugin i have a huge amount of plugin uh, and I will be reviewing pretty much most of them or the ones that I use I will be reviewing There will be some that are probably not going to be useful for me and I'm probably not going to use them So over the years I've bought lots of plugins and some I like and some I don't like some I was Not pressured into buying but lots of people said oh, it's really great and then I couldn't find any use for it myself, but I will be doing I will be going through the ones I like and the ones I don't like and the ones that are useful and the ones that are not useful for making the types of music that I make, which is predominantly uh, electronic dance music, R&B, house, garage, uh, soul, and bits of jazz. So I will be going through these plugins that I use and how I use them in the session. So it's going to be a practical hands-on uh, and, and tutorials on how I use it and how you can possibly use it. Okay, that's me. Done. Uh, I'll speak to you guys later. Bye-bye.